Hello Libra and welcome to the Humble Seer. So this is your 2025 reading. We're going to talk love. We're going to talk career and lifestyle and that lifestyle would just be if you're retired, but it'll all be the same. Then we'll talk money. And then at the end, we'll pull a card. Oh my gosh, they want to talk. We'll pull a card on a surprise, something that you don't expect that's going to come in to your world in 2025, something or some things. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Let's get your love card. Let's start there. Okay, toxic. All right. Hmm. What's going on? All right, it says, if our relationship is going to have such a negative impact on your mental health, maybe you're better off without me. Okay. So toxic. Let's pull another card on that and then we'll... Um, and we'll also pull a tarot card and then we'll um, go into it. Okay, that wanted to flip out and come out. So let's take it. Father wounds. Okay, my father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy with, within me and externally. Okay, so I, I get that... Um, Love is going to be tricky for you, but you've got other things going on that are, that you view as more important. But, you know, there's someone in your world that is, well, they're toxic. Okay. That, that just rolled out and said, here I am. Okay. And then we have the page of swords. Okay. That's delayed messages, patience. So basically you, you probably want love uh, I'm getting, but there are you know, there's wounds there, there's toxicity. And I get for some, it will be with your parent. Now it says father wounds, but I get a lot of you have issues with your mother and, um, this person brings you down and you think that you love them in a certain type of way. And you, and you do love them, but they are somewhat toxic to you in that, um, they depend on you and they pull you down. And that weighs heavy on your potential for romantic love. You're allowing father wounds as well as um, mother wounds. For those of you, I feel a lot of you have your mother in your life, and uh, that is a, a problem. And if you don't, it's still a problem. The mother uh, has a major hold. So love is kind of on hold. It's not your primary focus. If you're in a relationship and you're wondering, why do I always feel this way? It's because of these unresolved uh, uh, situations, issues. Okay, let's move on to career. And, that, and that's okay because you're going to be working through that this year. You're going to ha be having some realizations around that toxicity, which is a very important and good thing. You're going to discover. For some, you just found that out now in this reading. Okay, this is for your career and lifestyle. Okay, so we have negotiate. I like that. So I feel that if you're in a job, if you're, if you're currently working a job and something fell to the ground, huh? I'm going to take this too, because it wanted to come out. It says job loss and termination of employment. I get that, um, you're going to be leaving somewhere because of a situation within the workplace but you land on your feet, I get. So, it, but we also have uh, negotiate. I feel like uh, a job that you're going to be leaving behind, um, it just wasn't for you. It just wasn't for you. And, and you're looking in 2025, you're going to start negotiating the things that you want in, as it, as it relates to career. You're, if, if you find that something is going to be toxic and you sense that you're going to bow out quickly, you're not going to linger in things that don't serve you. Now, there were times that you did that and because you needed to have that money. Other times, some of you don't need the money, but you just want to work. And so you, um, but you are still going to negotiate 
your on your terms and you get what you want. Okay. Uh, we have the romantic offers, the Knight of Cups, as it relates to career. And I get that. Oh, this is interesting because we talked about toxicity, but I get that there is somebody, this person that's coming into the workplace in a workplace situation, they are the Knight of Cups and they fancy you, but you're dealing with this, but this person is what <laughs> excites you. This person excites you and you want to go into the workplace. So once you've left that one place, now you're going into another place. Uh, you're negotiating and getting what you want, right? And then you, um, this person is in your world. Now this toxicity is going, you're going to be working through those issues, but by the end of the year, I see you, many of you involving yourself with this Knight of Cups. It's like, okay, it's all or nothing now. You're now going to have a relationship. You're going to, um, you're going to consider being with that person in the work that's in the workplace. Okay. Let's move on to, uh, your money. Let's see. I get money will be just fine, but we'll pull one of these. Oh, job offer. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, you negotiate yourself right into something. So money's fine. And let's just pull a, a tarot card on that, uh, on money too. So yeah. And I get that you will have multiple job offers, multiple possibilities. If you're retired, uh, you will just be you know, doing multiple things in your retirement. You might be sitting on boards. Okay. That flew out and I'm going to take it. I was talking so much. I didn't even pay attention. You have the world, uh, success, accomplishment, travel. Okay. So as it relates to money, you have the world. You got this money's good. You're good. And some of you will be moving you'll be traveling across the globe. Well, in the same country, I should say. Uh, some of you, it will be the globe. Okay, some of you, it will be another country. That is pretty amazing. So you're gonna be working through uh, the toxicity from both parents, but especially that mother. If that mother's in your life, they're toxic and they're, putting toxicity off on you, whether you want to realize and accept that or not, that is definitely happening. And you had father wounds. Some of you may have lost your father and, um, that's the wound. Some of you may have had a great relationship. Your father was a great person. Maybe he worked a lot or he wasn't around a lot. And so you romanticize the relationship, but I get that your father was far better than your mother. And I know that's, I just have to get these messages out. There's toxicity there. But again, that knight wants to come in. That knight of cups wants to come in. It is going to be fantastic. Okay. Let's pull your, um, surprise card. Okay. Let's see what, what you've got going on. Okay. Evil eye protection. Okay. So the surprise is <laughs> that you will have all sorts of protection. People will be coming to your aid. People will be taking care of you. People will be coming out of the woodwork to say, oh no, don't bother Libra. Libra is precious to us, right? Libra uh, means uh, the world to us and you can't touch this. So the evil eye is uh, what you have. And I get all year long. There's protection around you. There's protection. And I also get, as it relates to this, that you might even go into therapy. You might want to consider that. Some of you are going to do it after hearing this. Some of you may be doing it. Some of you are considering it therapy, but that, that would be a wonderful thing for you because you have wounds that can be healed is what I get as it relates to this toxicity. Because I get the mother, your mother, um, if she's still with you, um, or even if she's not, these are things that she did. She really made you feel like you had to be attached to her. And you're realizing now that 
you don't need that attachment. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Libra. Thanks so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. As always, you take good care and we will talk soon. Bye.